So this is where we left off with DT mostly dead, uh, the gas completely dead, uh, Buck unharmed. <clears throat> Ivy had just like been revived. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Actually, death story. Just a little heliod or meliod. Yeah, it, it, it was a good roll though. It was a good heal roll. So. All right. So um, if you guys don't remember, you killed the gas. And that's pretty much where we stopped. You have a footlocker that has loot in it, but you have not looted <gasps> it. My chainmail, which I so badly, badly need. Uh, shit, I already used oh. my identify spell today. And uh, there was an old book as well, if I recall. Yeah, I, I can go through everything that was in there real quick yeah. again. Go, yeah, yeah, that. sure. Yeah, let me... Um, I have to move DT. No, I don't have to move DT. Where the... Damn it, updates. There we go. There's my journal icon. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> in the footlocker was a cloak of protection, a um, small wooden coffer, uh, which you have not opened yet, a chain shirt, a mess kit, a flask of alchemist fire, a bullseye lantern, a set of thieves tools, and a, a uh, yellow covered book. Oh, so many things I want to look at first. What is a mess kit? Um, a mess kit. Oh, okay. It's a type of barbecue. Um, actually, it's really. <laughs> I thought it was like a like a knife, you know, like a cookery blade. It's a mess kit. Ah, uh, it's a, it's a poorly oh. pronounced machete. It's a. It's a. It's a mess kitty. You mean a, uh, You mean a bag of food usins? I understand. A bag of food <laughs> usins. You know, a mess kit. All the stuff you need for eating. Oh my Get god. In your mouth. While everybody is checking that out, I'm going to look at this uh, mess cabinet. kit. No, the cabinet behind DT. Uh, there is nothing in the cabinet. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the. <laughs> Park another in cabinet. I'm going to grab the, the flask of Alchemy and Fire and the pocket that quickly. Um, and then I'm going to look at the uh, the lockbox inside of the cabinet. Okay. And I'd like to inspect the the chainmail thing to make sure it's not haunted with more shit. Um, you would have to do an Arcana check. Can can doodly do. Uh, me. Wait. You click on the me and you push C and you do the arcana and you do a normal roll. E. Oh, ah. <laughs> God damn it. And you oh. swear a little bit or a lot. Absolutely <laughs> wrong. You have absolutely no idea whether or not this is cursed or not. No. I'm going to check my a chances. little box that I picked up. And actually, that probably should have been a religion check. No. But either um, one's can fine. I can I do a, a similar check on the cloak of protection? Sure. Or anything else in there that would make me yeah, die? Yeah, laugh? Give, I'll let you do one more roll, and Yee. it'll just encompass everything in there, including the chain shirt. We'll just okay. Yeah. Um, am I doing Arcana or what am I doing? Uh, do Arcana again, because curse is a spell, so. Ignore what I said about a religion check. Please be better. Please be better. Please be better. Um, with the ten, the the DC is not super high. Uh, so, uh, nothing in here is cursed. Yes. Okay. Are you guys all cool if I take that chainmail then? Yeah. Sure. Start shrugs ambivalently. Yeah. Uh, gonna get so make make sure now. you do chain shirt and not chain mail. Right, chain shirt. If I update it in my D&D Beyond thing for my um, equipment, will it pull in automatically, or do you need to pull that in? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Let's find out. Because it, it should affect your AC. Uh, should. Okay, back to Buck, who should. has the wooden coffer. Are you opening it? What are you doing? I'm going to check and see whether it's locked first, and whether like, there's any kind of like ornate symbols kind of shit on it. Uh, can you just give me a perception or investigation? I'll let you pick. It's so weird. Oh, yes. 
Uh, yeah, okay. It is not unlocked and it is not trapped in any way. Or it is not locked and it is not trapped. All right, I'm gonna pop it open and take a look. All right, there are four potions of healing. Fantastic. Uh, since there are four of us, I am going to give a potion each. Oh, that's lovely. Um. Did you add the chain shirt and equip it? I did. My AC is now 15. Okay, did it update in here? Can't see your cheat. What is happening? Gremlins. Uh, uh, I just where the hell is your AC? Uh, it doesn't look like it updated. On the character sheet, top very top right next to the rests. Yeah, for me anyway. Yep. Yeah. Does not look like it updated. So, do you have your health set yeah. correctly on D and D Beyond? Uh, let me check. Uh... Where's my health on D and D Beyond? Is my hit points? Yeah, your hit okay. points. Okay, so I it's not a correct on D and D Beyond, so let me set it there and then you can pull it in. Okay. Uh, should be nine. And what's the deal with that uh, that cloak of stuff and junk? Uh, give me a second. Let me update your character. I'll tell you. Uh, throw roll an arcana check. These yeah. are just potions of healing, being um, regular ones. Yeah, they are regular potions of healing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, an arcana check for okay. the cloak, the cloaky cloak cloak. It looks Fra soft. Mm, not made of bees. Great. It's, gonna, yes, uh, the cloak is not made of bees, correct? So far. <laughs> hey, Stark, so what do you think? You want to, well, maybe we can give the, the cloak to Starks. Yeah. Um, Does it have a her. tag that says cloak of protection? Or like, how is do it we know? washing instructions? Is it dry clean only? Oh god, don't let it be dry clean only. Every time you give it to the dry cleaner, it's like you add $10 to the cost of the garment. <laughs> <laughs> This is my $500 dry clean only shirt because I washed it. Uh, does someone else want to try and determine more information about the cloak of protection? Sure. I can scan my terrible rolls. You want Arcana or Investigation? Arcana. I am proficient in Arcana. Oh, man. All right. With that, you'd know that um, A, this requires attunement, um, and you gain a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws while you wear this cloak. Dope. Oh, obviously, for me. <laughs> I need a 22 if I can get my AC up there, please. <laughs> I'm going to murder you. <laughs> I said no, the quiet part out loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so who is taking that and just make sure you put it in your inventory uh, it's going to require a short rest to be able to use it I think we would offer it to starts it sounded like Buck wanted to pitch that oh she's just yeah, going to look at it confused like why would I why would I want a thing um, this has magic in it that keeps you safe and she just points at the fire <laughs> Is there fire in here? Yeah, fire guy's still here. I have for an hour. Oh, yeah. Did okay. he get a token? Or she, actually, the, the technically? Fire. Uh, I pulled the token away because it was causing problems. I'll drop oh, okay. it back in when not, when you're in combat or something. Okay. Okay, well, Buck, it's my understanding that this would shrink down to fit you if, you, if it's really magic. You want to try it on? Sure, I'll take it. Try it on to get out of here. I don't know if I want to rest in this place again. That's starting to give me the creeps. I mean, starting to give me the creeps a long time ago. Now I'm thinking creepier. Okay. Um. So There's... you also have the mess kit. The mess kit. <laughs> uh, it's just um, 
It's just a thing for cooking. That's all it is. Yeah. It's I not. Think we all already have one, don't and we? It's, and it's worth all of two silver. So if someone wants to just take two silver, we'll just call that good. <clears throat> um, I'll, actually, I'll take it if it's got metal utensils. Yep. Because I can use the blessing of the forge to make other shit out of it. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna be like a Fallout scrapper. Yeah, it's even a it's it's, it's basically garbage. a lunchbox. So the box itself is metal too. So, okay. um, uh, a bullseye so lantern I, and thieves tools. I have already have thieves tools. Don't ask me why. Um, it's general reason. Well, I mean, you gotta sometimes you gotta make things and sometimes you gotta break into things. Do like, I have thieves tools? Uh, no. I'll take the thieves' tools if no one else wants them. They might come in handy. It's always good yeah. to have. And I'll, I'll grab that bullseye lantern. Okay. Um, and then there's the book. The book, yeah. Yeah, so what is going on with that there book? Are you looking at it? Are you picking it up? I am. I'm going to look at it. Well, we're kind of <clears throat> talking about mess kits and stuff. I'm going to be like, that book. And, and uh, I'm going to pick it up. Look at the cover. Um, so there, there's nothing written on the cover. It's just a yellow cover. Okay. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to open up the book then. Um, and see what's going on. Okay. So I'm um, to it's... First. I'm not going to, like... I'm going to open it up to, like, what would be the index. Okay. It's... You just can open the front cover. Um, the table of contents, I guess, is what you would be looking at, and yeah. it's a spell book um, with the following wizard spells, which I don't think is going to do much for you guys right now. Um, the spells are Disguise Self, Identify, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Protection from Evil and Good, first level, second level, Dark Vision, Hold Person, Invisibility, and Magic Weapon. Ooh, I'll keep this. Yeah. Do you have a record of that, or do we need to make a note with all of those things? Um, I mean, I can always pull it up, but you should probably make a note of it. Yeah. Right. So. You can just put a note, just put notes in your character sheet, babe. Yeah. Here. Oh. Oh, yes, we must go some other things. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, yeah, you know what? I can add these to your note sheet in here uh, or you're adding it to D&D Beyond aren't you I was gonna yeah um, um, okay uh, it's uh, you know what I can just copy and paste this and I can add it to your own notes because I have control over that since you're in my thing give me a sec that would probably be quicker journal entries that's what it was there you go General question: During your combat turn, can you um, are you able to equip different weapons, or do you just have the whatever weapons you started your turn with? You can take an action to change weapons, um, but that's your action if you're in combat. Okay. What what what's the use case? Like, what are you trying to do? Because there, there's there's exceptions to the rule. Like, well, I'm going to put down my small crossbows and get out my bigger crossbow. Double-hander. I was just looking at my inventory. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have a big-ass crossbow. Yeah, don't forget, though, if you have the big crossbow, you only get to fire it once as opposed to yeah, twice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you wanted to do that, it would be an action. Gotcha. But you could do it now, and it wouldn't matter. So, yeah. yeah. I'm, good with, I'm good with my dual carry. Okay. Yeah, I was just more curious about, like, what's possible. Um during a turn yep all right um so i added that to your notes because it was just quick to copy and paste um and so what are you guys doing oh footlocker's clear the um cabinet's clear hmm. do i have Can any spells left i don't um we could hole up in this room. Now that we've killed everything that was here, it might be safe enough for us to take a rest. But, um, yeah, I think a short rest, use a hit die, might be okay for me. I'll What's take that? whatever that, I can get. Is that one hour? That's A short rest is one hour. 
I think it was believable. We just while taking we're sifting a, through the treasure break. and you know, trying stuff on or whatever, everybody just sort of chills and we keep the door shut. Sharing the snacks in Good. the they mesquite. The there is no door. Oh. I think that's important to point out. Do we wanna So then I think what's barricade. going to happen is that uh Fire Elemental is gonna get parked here for okay. the hour that it remains, and then there yeah. is an hour of unbarricaded space because she won't move for two hours. <laughs> So she's if already been stopping. out for a little bit, so it won't be a complete hour, but I'll say probably 50 minutes. So okay. you'll, you'll so have 10, mi 10 minutes where it's up to DT to pay attention. Yeah, I was going to say, I can I can stand watch here okay, and make sure that nobody's coming in and, and still get the benefits of a short rest. I'm understanding that correctly. Yep. Starts is going to be insistent that it's two hours then. <coughs> okay. Um, two hours isn't going to do any different than one hour. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah. I get both my yeah, it's either, shapes back on one? It's either a short rest or... Well, I, I'm not sure. I'll have to pull your stuff up for how you get your wild shape back. It is, if I remember correctly, wild shape is... There's two of them, and I think you get one per hour of short rest. I'm uh, not 100% on that. <clears throat> it's a shorter long rest they come back on. I think it's two per short rest. I think you get them oh. both back. I think it works like um, key for a monk. Uh, uh, well, it's two for short rest. Which makes me for think a wild short shape. Right. But this is the wildfire spirit. Right. Wildfire Maybe. spirit, she doesn't get back. Oh, no, yeah, she I does. Do, Recharges after I... a short rest. Okay, short cool. Then one that, short yeah, that's fine. But that's fiery teleportation that you get back. Okay. If we're gonna hang out here for another hour, you know, so if we're hanging out here for two hours, I'll take a short rest. Oh, if it only has to, if, if it only has to be one, that's fine. As long as I can summon my dude and do spider, I'm good. So I don't really have anything that's gonna kick off for a short rest for me. So I'm gonna do um, a conjuration ritual to summon my familiar. If you're doing that, you will not be attuning to the cloak. Oh, okay, never mind then. I will focus on chilling out and attuning to that cloak. I'm going to curl up in it and have a little snooze. Yeah, so don't forget, Wildfire Spirit doesn't come back. You have 15 total for the entire existence of your character. That's That, I, does, that was so crazy. I didn't think that was actually yeah. how it was meant to be read, but maybe it is. Yeah, no, because it's OP. <laughs> it's, yeah. I that's guess. Cool that there's like a, a, a something that you have to like consider like throughout yeah. your entire adventuring career yeah um, okay. seems I, whack I, to me to give a character a campaign limited usability like oh yeah. after you burn all these you have you're functionally less good as a character for the rest yeah, of well, it it's right but it's weird. broken it's down for 15 seconds, yeah it, it's it's a it's a it's on our it's on earth arcana if this ever goes <laughs> actual live i bet that entire thing gets reworked yeah, yeah, that'll it'll get dropped way low because that is basically adding another character to our party. Another, at this point. yeah, I, yeah, I bet it'll end up with weeks. with pet pet stats versus what it has, which is like another character stats. Um, but then recharge would be my guess. But anyway, yeah. um, okay, so I'm gonna hit that short rest button. Yep, short rest yep. is fine. Um, if you for those who haven't played before, if you want your health back, you can roll hit die. Um, so when you do short rest, it'll bring up how much hit die you have. Um, for example, starts has two. So you would roll 1d8 yeah. plus two. Um, there should actually be a little roll hit die button. You can just do that. Um, yep, and and that's how much perfect. health you get back. And so okay. you can say, OK, I'm going to use one right now. Roll it. See if that gets you back to full. And if it doesn't, you want to roll again. You can. Um, okay. So just hit the short rest button and then do that. Yeah, hit hit the short rest button and short hit roll hit die. And then two available. Okay. I think yeah. I did it wrong. That was my oh. hit die. But it gave doing it through the character oh. sheet adds oh. it right back yeah. and everything. It's me. Hey, that's not bad. So I got seven back, and then I'm at 8 to 18 out of 20. I'm going to leave it there and save my other one, and then I'm just going to rest. 
Oh, I can't um, scroll I did, that. I did all of my inventory. And it, it I can't nice. get to it. Um, Bean, if you can. Hold it's because the screen's too small. Can uh, you can click you over use, to me? You can use the mouse control and scroll wheel. What'd you say, Buck? I I can't go sideways. I I did my achievement in inventory management on me. Gotcha. Why does your your JSON file take so freaking long to load? Like everybody else's is like in two seconds. Yours is forever. You know what they say, tiny right. man, big JSON file. All right, your AC is eighteen. Is that correct? Uh, I got seventeen in DD Beyond. Did you put your cloak on? Yes. Yes, I have it equipped in DD Beyond. Why is your AC higher I'm not, here? I'm not unhappy about that. Don't worry. Well, I'm gonna manually change it. Oh, I know. Oh, I know why. It's because I'm. I'm a, uh, it's because I'm. Under S. Used with defense. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, I think I might need to use another one. I'm only at ten out of nineteen. Wait, why are you? You're still so unconscious. That's not correct. There we go. Oh, look who's conscious. Why are you still bloodied? Mm -hmm. What? Wash off later, jeez. Ah, uh, yeah, now my hit points are... I use two hit dice, I'm back to 16 out of 19, but I do still have the blood icon. Yeah, let me, um... Let me pull your tokens back out once I... Blue. I've disappeared. Farewell, Earth. Dr. Toilet had to go back to his home planet. Note, Dr. Toilet died on the way back to his home planet. <laughs> I'm fixing your vision right now, sorry. Oh, and you had a... Uh... How long does your light cantrip last, Ivy? I think it's just an hour. Is that right? Probably. I can do it again. You want me to more light? Uh... Wait, I can... Oh, no, it, it doesn't end. It just lasts. As... No, no, it's one hour. One hour. Okay. And, and it's 20 feet. That's right. Uh, yes. All right. There we go. Okay. I knew something looked wrong because it was too dark. So, okay. Uh, okay. Everybody's had their rest. Um, Buck, you have your cloak on. What do you guys do? I guess it's time to continue on. Yeah, let's find that chanting and kill some more shit. But this time with more. Parkour. I think it is spider time once again. So back to spider, back to the ceiling. All right. Uh, I'm going to venture out and, and see if anything has changed in the room immediately outside while we've been resting. Can you try and roll um, wild shape in inside uh, foundry? Let me see what it does. Nope, it just lets me change the name of it. Let you change the name of your character? It lets me change the name of Wild Shape to whatever I want to change it to. Uh, the dice. And figure how you would... No, you can't. Oh, oh you're, down, you're down there. Oh, I can't even get to that part of the sheet. Okay. The, the little awesome. shitty... Here, here, let me uh, roll it for you. We have. I can... Here, let me click. Because I think I can do it before. Or it just brings it up there. Yeah, it just brings it up. Um... Fuck. I don't think there's anything to roll on it, is there? And it would have the time and stuff of what you can stay in, but it's also not working. Last level divided by two slash round down hours. Yeah, I don't actually know how this works. 
I'll I'll play around and try and figure this out, but we'll just say the Earth Spider for right now. Cool. Yeah. I don't think I don't think you have to roll it. Unless can I can assume... let me try one more thing. See if this works. If I drag this directly over you. There we did... go. Ow. No, it didn't change <laughs> okay. you, it just put one on just top of you. Didn't yeah, it's just the spider. That's okay. I can just move the spider. <laughs> no. We'll just say you're a spider. That's fine. There, okay. There's a way to do it. I just honestly do not know how. Um, I've been trying to figure it out. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway. So you are a spider. Yes. On the ceiling. And I'm going to go to the middle of the room where that table is. You know and what? Wait. Actually, actually, I can give you the spider, and I can give you control of it. Uh, because I think it'd be cool, and because I need to drop a couple of pounds according to my inventory, uh, I'm gonna give the spider two torches to see whether she can like. She cannot. She's around. still a spider. She can't carry the no. Absolutely no. not. It's not, <laughs> no, it's not just like a. Look at them and be like, what if I like strap them on somehow? Yeah, I'm a little. It's, spider. it's, it's not even a giant spider. Still a spider. <laughs> Need a bigger spider. Um, the spider um, shrug. Yeah. Yeah, we could build one. God, why can't I? There are way too many characters. Here you go. Okay, you have control of the spider now. I have control of you. I hear it's not that long. Figure out how to <laughs> the spider. I you should have control of the spider. I do not. All right. Well, let's forget the spider and we'll just pretend okay. you're a spider. That'll work. Cool. Until I figure this out. Okay. Theater what are you doing? Sorry spider. about that. I okay, am. We're in, the, we're in the theater of the spider. All right. So, exactly. so you attempt to strap two torches to the spider, and the spider <laughs> immediately dies. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> We're not doing that, but yes, that, that is what shape. would happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to come up and down this hallway a little bit on the ceiling. Okay. And then here. What is my curry weight? Or carry weight? Current Wait. carry. How much curry do you really need? <laughs> I've got 145 oh, pounds of curry. <laughs> Uh, You're stuck. Days worth of rations is twenty pounds. So, I, I'm not super concerned about weight unless it gets completely out of hand. So, don't worry too much about it. I was mostly just blown away that uh, rations one day. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. That's one one day. That's is two all. Pounds. I have I have ten days worth of rations. Yeah, makes it a little. But I, you know, what? I've probably eaten one of those. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can roll for rash. Hanging from the ceiling, I'm going to gesture down the hall as long as this hall looks relatively clear. Did we uh, go through the door on the bottom left over here? That was the uh, that was Doral. That's the one. That was oh, the one that Doral. Was the, well, it, it's Last dead. Doral. Yeah, but. All right. Well. There, you you don't see anything down the right. down the hall. Okay. Then little spider, go ahead. Gesture. Can we, we, we can, can we make out spider gestures? There was a uh, yeah, we, key section. We didn't go left at the T. Yeah. We were following ghost urges and uh, ended up. And don't forget to tell, like, move. Scholar. Don't just move. Like, you got to tell me what you're doing. All right. I'm in going to order we and stuff. Of, uh, All right. Turn to the T judge. Yep. I'm going to spider along the ceiling above and across over Buck and through these stairs to the middle of the stairs. Okay. Can I peek around either of those corners? You can peek around either of those corners. Do I see anything as a spider upside down? <laughs> to, to your left, you see a stairway down um, that ends at a wall and then turns to the right. Um, and then to your right, you just see another hallway. She's upside down, so it's her right arm. Well, okay, yeah, shut up. 
He'll make you, us leave you in the dungeon. You know what I'm saying. So <laughs> I know. I'm just being an ass. I know. <laughs> so some upside down spider air traffic controller movements. Of I'm gonna trying... I'm gonna poke the stairs real quick to see whether there's a uh, a trap or any kind of like mechanism on them to make you go slide down the stairs, Simpsons style. Uh, you can. They're not very long. Like the stair, it's like four. <laughs> it's it's four I'm stairs. Just... It doesn't. It doesn't. You you That's poke it. at it, nothing happens. There's stairs. That's a stair flight. I'm gonna cut down to the bottom of the stairs and then look to the uh, the next set of stairs that goes down. Um, I kind of shrug. Like, do you guys want to keep going down? Do we hear chanting from anywhere? Uh, the chanting is clearly coming from down these stairs. Well, not necessarily these stairs, but this direction. But downer, more down. downer. Yeah, more down. The chanting is a downer. All right, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, let's, let's, let's follow the chanting for now. We can always backtrack once we've sort of made it more safe. Given how things usually go, we'll probably be running back here at high speed. Uh, that's something explodes. Sounds about right. All right, I'm going to go scout ahead. Okay, go are, down the, so you're going down the stairs? I'm going along the ceiling, down the stairs to the corner. Okay. And if I face this way, it looks like I just see another wall, yeah? Yeah, and to the right, more stairs that lead further down, and the chanting is clearly coming from down there. I'm going to make sort of a walking down stairs gesture and point with one of my little spidery appendages, even though I'm sure that doesn't translate. You well, to say legs. I'm going to follow pretty closely behind, um, or I will actually taking the lead down the stairs okay uh, Buck is taking the lead him. going down the stairs give me a I second I'm bring, right behind him bring up the rear with Medos pew pew guns okay. I'm sort of looming over the yeah. ghost so ghost I gotta bolt. fix your vision stuff because nothing ever saves on that for some reason Light from Ivy. I think you guys are both. Okay, so Buck's in the front. Uh, DT, where are you? I am right behind. Right behind Buck. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then I said she was in the back, and and I think I it starts. I think we can say you're just above people. Um, yeah. I am arguably above DT. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put you behind him just for okay. so you guys can see your your uh yeah your uh things. Your tokens. Yeah, your tokens. No, your things, obviously. <laughs> just... All right. And the sound is louder as you go down the stairs. I'm not going to increase the volume though because I. Just don't want to drown everybody out, so. Oh. Imagining Enya. No, 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 wait. Uh, Ace Ventura 2. Chanting already, then. Why is your vision not working? I don't know. It's been great to me. Oh, yeah, I think it's working. What's going on? Hey. DT is working, but yours isn't. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. I still don't have bright vision. I can see. Yeah, I mean it's dark. Um, the Maybe reason it is, dark vision. the reason you're mm -hmm. it's bright at all is because of uh, Ivy. Right, right, right. That's right. Um, you're that's welcome. Right. Oh, I, I remember. Actually, it was because. I turn the darkness level of the map down up above. There we go. That better? That's a little bit better, thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. What? All right. I, I should learn the light. Here. Uh, I see there's an alcove on my left and a big opening on the right. So right before I enter the room, basically kind of in this step right here, I'm going to pause and take a look around. Okay. Um, in this room, uh, first off, you can really hear the sound. 
um, in this area. It's bouncing off the walls. So you're not 100% sure where it's coming from right this second, but you know it's definitely from down here. Um, you can discern over a dozen or so voices saying over and over, he is the ancient, he is the land. No, it, it died. In this room, so. um, you can see several alcoves um, with items, like one item in each alcove. Um, oh. And that's the room. What do you do? Oh, okay. We're having a item Oh, okay. Hold on. You're having a tech issue. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One sec. We just we have a switch. Uh, we have an outlet that doesn't turn on unless the switch is up, and that was what the laptop was plugged uh, into, yeah. and the switch wasn't up. Ah. Do 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 all right, I am rebooting. I mean, you can also see the whole map because we're doing it on the TV. Yeah. We have uh, Frank. Discord on the phones, so the laptop is kind of the bonus one. Yeah, just let me know when you're ready. All right, well, what is... So, yeah, is Buck is examining the object next to him and you were waiting to tell us? Uh, I did not... Bringer, did you what say you were that? examining the object next to you? you gotta, uh, no full yeah. smoke right now. What I did you say? I would like to examine this. Okay. Okay. You kind of got quiet there, too, by the way. I was it was east. Um, it is a small mummified yellow hand with sharp claws. Um, it is a goblin's hand on a loop of rope. Uh, are there any fingers conspicuously folded down as if somebody had used this goblin hand to make a wish? No, this is <laughs> this is not a monkey's paw situation. Are there the fingers I could fold down while I make a wish and then stare menacingly at my party members? You can try to fold the fingers down if you would I, you like. You know what? I think I'm going to actually leave it there for the moment. <laughs> On retro swipes, I'm not going to pick up the creepy as shit goblin hand. Um... I'm going to point to the bottom of the screen, which I believe is the west, and uh, say that that's where I think kind of sort of mime, and that that's where I think the sound is coming from. You're pointing down here? Yes. Okay. I can see a doorway there, and I'm, I'm letting them know I can see the room kind of goes further. Um, why did I do that? Ah, keep doing that. Are you going to examine any of the other alcoves? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to step further into the room and take a look at the next alcove. Uh, it is a knife carved from human bone. I do like knives. Um, and bones. I am impartial on humans. <laughs> bones kind of neat. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a look and see whether or not it gets its... I'm going to, I'm going to see whether it's cursed. I'm going to try and... Yeah. Give it a sus. Curse, curse, like picking up a knife right now that could be used by a ritual seems like a good idea. So I'm actually just I'm gonna take the knife and then take a look at it. Really You're gonna take it? Yeah, what the fuck. I'm <laughs> a bad idea. But okay. Uh, you take the bone. Um, nothing particularly <laughs> happens, but you now have a knife carved from human bone. Excellent. Excellent. I am going to uh, look at that in my bone hole. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with the alcove uh, next to me. So the one on the the thing that I'm pointing at. All right. What's uh, what's over? What's what's in there? Um, is a small wooden box. Ooh. Um, I would. Can I check if the box is haunted or otherwise might hurt me? Uh, if you want to check to see if you can tell if it's cursed. Arcana. Okay, if you want to check yeah. to see if it's trapped, uh, um, I would say a investigation. While this is going on, I'm going to mm -hmm. spider to the center of the room and see what I can see kind of leaning down those halls. My token is gone, though, because I'm still rebooting. I can, okay. I just, can I, I do a quick to, Arcana check on this? Uh, I have to move it around. I can't go I'm just going to be like a 
sort of fondling it, kind of looking, looking at it, seeing whether it's obviously cursed. All right, Ivy with a nine, um, you don't notice any curse. So being just a quick aside, when we're doing that, is it like Giles from Buffy and somebody brings it in and they're like, my God, that's, that's a Demethonian spirit box. Uh, that's a, that holds a demon soul or whatever, you know, like, <laughs> or, or are you like, is there an aspect of the item specifically that you can like track why it's cursed or is it just like a game saving mechanic? To save time because some stuff's going to be cursed and some isn't. I am saying because curse is usually magical that with a successful um, arcana check, then you can tell if there's a curse put on something. It you is a difficult, a, a bad spirit. It's a difficult a roll, though. Yeah, it's not an easy. Yeah. It's not an easy check. So, um, okay. but I'm not going to tell you what it is. So well, basically, yeah, yeah, you don't know. But you would just and be like, I'm picking up that. bad juju from that box, like, man. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cursed dagger. You don't need to take this to Curse Purge Plus. Um, so I don't notice any curses on the box. With a um, nine, is, correct. With a nine, okay. Um, is the box locked? Um, roll an investigation. I have kind of casually strolled uh, past Buck and I'm just looking in the alcove. So all bad. I, mean, I found that I've made a human phone. Uh, it does not it. appear to be trapped or locked. Not. Okay, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open the box carefully okay. with my arms very, very outstretched. <laughs> um, in, inside the box, so nothing happens when you open the box. But inside the yes. box is a withered tongue. Give me a nature check. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say it's gonna be like an ear or something. Not half of the uh, no good one stuff rolls. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a wolf's tongue. Yeah. I don't really have a need for that. <laughs> I'm just gonna close the box out of respect for the dead wolf. Okay. Um, let's jump to starts real quick because she was looking down. You're looking down both hallways. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take a peek. So the one right here. Um, it goes down about 10 feet and then um, stops. You can tell there's a opening to the to this side to the right. Um, on this one, you can see a slope going down, but it's too dark to really make out um, what's down there, but you can hear water running. Hmm. Um, okay. Now, DT, you haven't done anything. What are you doing? Yeah, I kind of strolled past and was just looking in the alcoves as we go. Okay, so, so that one that has a one. dagger with a rat skull set into the pommel. Hmm. I'm actually just going to kind of take Whoa. in the room here. So I'm I'm cool. just strolling past and looking at them like a like a museum patron. Okay. Uh, just... back to back to Buck real quick. Um, did you say you wanted to check to see if the uh, I would like to do like an I'm going to continue kind of investigating this dagger to see like if it's obviously cursed or. Okay, um, give me Arcana. Just, just cool as shit. Cause, like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's. A, I don't really have a problem with, with carving stuff out of you know the bones of humans. I'm not a human. Racist. Oh, um, racist. I'll check out the next Elko. What's what's in there? Um, Animal sauce. Okay, Buck. Oh, it, it was a sixteen. Uh, what's you it? do not notice anything odd about it aside from what it is. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'm gonna follow DT over to this other dagger and pick that up too. Okay, um, Ivy, what were you? You're looking at this one now. Yeah, with the the next alcove. Okay, it is a shrunken and shriveled head. No, I want no part of that. All right. I'm going to turn around and look at the other alcove to my left. Okay, starts. Um, what are you doing? Are you I just hanging out. To wander a little bit closer down towards the water slope, maybe just still on the ceiling right above where the slope starts. Okay. Um, you can see. You should be able to see. Can you see with your vision? Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like on this screen anyway. Yeah, I don't have great ability on my little tiny laptop that's mostly just for like character sheets. 
But oh no, you have no vision is part of the problem. <laughs> uh, would it help if I walked over there? Give me yeah. some light? No, she can see now. She's Ooh. she literally had no vision set up. Okay. Ooh. Clearly. <laughs> so <laughs> So um you see a portcullis and some water inside. You see um uh basically a dais in the middle of the water. Um, the portcullis is closed. I'm going to uh, make a web X across this opening right here. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, back, back up. <laughs> back to DT. Uh, I'm just moving on, checking. Okay, yeah, those. yeah. So you so, looked at yeah. that one. So there's two daggers, and then what was this one? Right, so that right? one is... Uh, an eight inch diameter varnished orb. It looks very similar to an eye. Hmm. Roll a nature check. Eight Big inch. eyes. Yeah. Let's see. Nature. Minus one. See, I am very stupid, but wise. I just don't. Oh, hey. I, this oh, is a thing I happen I to know. Uh. <laughs> While while you've never encountered one of these in person, you have um, seen it um, while uh, like it, it's in your your memory. Um, this is a was made from a Nothix eye. A Nothic. Uh, a demony thing, right? I can tell you what a Nothic is. One second. the internet I can instantly learn what redditors think about them you know that's right i remember looking <laughs> um, up before because yeah Blender had some uh the campaign anothic yeah. is a monstrous creature with terrible talents and a single great eye um when driven to violence it uses its gaze to rot the flesh from its enemy's bones they kind of look like the nope. Zen from Half Life, right? They look like the Zen from Half Life, <laughs> exactly. Okay. More, spikes. more, more evil, but yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay. I do not want to touch or interact with <laughs> anyone. Uh, Buck, did you take the you took the rat dagger? Yeah, I'm gonna see whether I can get whether it's a pair. I, I might point any? out that uh, we seem to be encountering a lot of. Things made up of, or just plain old body parts. You think that has something to do with what this cult is chanting about? I'm assuming cult at this point. Um, what were you doing with the dagger? I was going to see whether it was obviously cursed as well. Maybe it's just a collection of chefs. Maybe this is a really old restaurant. Um, to save time, does everyone want to roll our arcana check and we'll say it covers the room? Sure. Okay. To try. Happy jumpster. Should have used the other good one I had. Okay, for Ivy, nothing Oops. seems cursed. Oh, <laughs> DT, nothing seems cursed. Buck, nothing seems cursed. Oh. No, go get, go get Tata. Go get your Santa. Okay. Starts. Are you gonna roll? Yeah. Okay. I can do it if you want. I got it. This is like. Oh, that was good. almost a nap. Good girl. And right before I clicked it, the mouse died. Uh, and with the twenty for starts, nothing in this room seems cursed. Okay. okay. So. Ivy. The thing you are looking at now is an iron pendant adorned with a devil's face. Neat. Um, DT, you want that for smelting? I don't really or have any heresy. Or, <laughs> or heresy. You know, stuff can do two things. Yeah. No, I'm very interested in the study of other religions and how wrong they are. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't think of a use for it. For a little bit. Also, always looking for scrap, sure. I think you're muted because I can hear you through. Oh, oh. I, so I, I only heard bits and pieces. Yes. What, what were you um, doing? Okay. 
I'm going to continue to make this X that I'm putting right here at the start of this passageway as big as and as gross as I can possibly make it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go through the portcullis and see what else I see down there. So you're going to walk through the portcullis? Yeah, as a spider. She's still if I If it looks safe, I will go. <laughs> okay. On the ceiling. All right. Um, let's play that out real quick. Okay. We need to get away from uh, you. Quickly you communicate with this. You won't be able to move your character through the portcullis. I'll just tell you what you see. Okay. Um, to, nope, that's not what I needed to click on. Okay. Um, the walls are just smooth masonry. Um, featureless stone pillars support the ceiling. Um... There is a breach in the west wall that leads to a dark caved heap with refuse. Um, murky waters cover most of the floor. Uh, there are stairs leaving, leading up to dry stone ledges that hug the walls um, on both sides. Um, in the middle of the room, more stairs rise to form an octagonal dais that also rises above the water. Uh, rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above the stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. Um, the water doesn't look to be very deep. It's maybe a couple of feet. Um, ledges in the dais are five feet high. Um, the ceiling's about 16 feet high. Okay. That's what you um, see. Cool. There are no nothing in here. It appears to be no people. No nothing. No. Okay. I'm gonna go. Are there any exits other than this slope? Uh, no. That's all you see. This is the okay. slope. Oh, and then you see I'm... a control inside this room to uh, open the portcullis. Okay. Basically like um, a, a turning wheel that you would push to, to open it, to lift it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go drop in spider form on the wheel. I know I'm not going to be big enough to move it, but uh, I want to see if anything happens when something lands on. Uh, nothing happens. Okay. I will go back. Okay. Not gonna... More X. Natural <laughs> yes. Natural ability to sneak through. <laughs> Okay, back to uh, DT. Alright. What else we got going along the wall of horrors? Just curious what we got. Okay. Um, Am I muted? Yeah, you're muted. But I did hear what you yeah. said. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's an Aspergillum carved from bone. Let's go Google that word. Oh, I think it's, it's some sort of mushroom. No, it's That's a, a That sounds like something to do with Minecraft. Oh, it's a cleric. It's a holy, holy water sprinkling. An implement it's... for sprinkling holy water. A brush. Oh, it's, it's where they shake it at you. Yeah. It's a, a holy tea, tea wand. Two common forms <laughs> a brush that's dipped in the water and shaken, and a silver ball on a stick. Okay, um, I'm just going to go through the rest of the stuff in this room. We'll just assume that you yeah. guys are, are making the, the cycle. Yeah. Um, so next would be a folded cloak um, made from stitched skin. A desiccated frog lashed to a stick. A bag. Uh, I'm going to gesture at the frog and, and, and start to see whether she wants the frog on a stick. Some races. <laughs> kind of a weird spider shrug. <laughs> um, oh, be a good joy. There's a severed finger, and then a six-inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy. Its arms crossed over its chest. Oh, that's that's coming with me. But then it means I have to unspider. Wait, I can, I've kind I'll, of I'll twigged carry to that being. You. Yeah, I think we're picking up on that being her thing. So yeah, I, can... I think that's completely reasonable that you would you would okay, know that she would that. want that. Yeah, we'll, and we'll, we'll mention her. Yeah, yeah. Like starts. We'll grab that for you. A spider what? thumbs up. <laughs> can I check out what's in that bag? Or well, we're leaving this bag? weird bone yeah. museum. So we'll make it... sure to grab you some. 
within the bag, um, it's bat guano. Nope. <laughs> yep. Uh, anyone interested in anything else in this room? Because you are uh, welcome to move on. I'm gonna take that uh, aspergillum. Seems like a neat thing. Okay. It is a religious item. Yeah. And uh, and I guess I collect from Ivy that uh, thing that she had. What was uh, a holy symbol or a demon face on a pendant? The yeah. Pendant. Double, yeah. It's an iron pendant. pendant. Yeah. I think the Where main we... key is that it's an iron pendant. We add weird stuff like that to our inventory. Um, you can just throw it in your notes if you want. I, I can walk through how to add it, but it's kind of weird. Um, uh, what's the best way to do notes then? Is it just there, the journal? There's entrance? a notes. You mean in here or in D&D Beyond? Here, here in Foundry, I was looking for a way, but if it's D&D uh, Beyond, I can do that too. Yeah, D&D Beyond. I haven't found a good notes solution for you guys yet. Okay. I'm they just have straight looking. notes. Yeah, they have here, just yeah. a notes section. Um, you can go to manage equipment, go to custom items, add custom item if you want to do that. Um, but I uh, just, no, good, I've just been doing it notes. It yep. Yeah, that's what I, that's how I've been doing it. <coughs> well, yeah, well there. Your, your other, does anyone have any useful or interesting other possessions? Just out of curiosity. Since I can't uh, see them on your sheet. Most of mine are built in. I've got <laughs> smiths and tinkers tools. Uh, for repairing things, and I don't know if I did take a musical instrument. I think in the creation thing, it's like you can take one if you want. And... I, uh, I hold up bagpipes. While this is going on, maybe later I'm going we can to make a bone wander holster down from... the other <laughs> alley or the other hallway. Okay. On the ceiling. So, geez, this skin here. suit is interesting, but yucky. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that sort of sums up this weird, creepy bone museum. What do I see from here? Uh, okay, in here, um, this area, even from where you are, um, it looks like cells um, a along the wall. Um, we all moving that way intentionally? Um, from where you are, um, peeking around the corners, um, you can see shackles against the wall, um, and some bones are littering the floor of the two cells that you can see into. Okay, I am going to make another big X and go down the, the central hallway and see what I see. Is this where, do I see individuals chanting, or? Nope, you continue to see more and more cells. Uh, Buck, she put up <laughs> that cobweb that you just walked through. I or under. Them, I, am, I'm kind of following I know, but I, I, I like the concept that you just walk straight through the thing that she put up, because that is what you did. <laughs> It'd probably fit under it's, it, honestly. It's like, I would fuck put up this a finger. Shit. I, I think that's meant to imply danger. Like, we shouldn't follow her until she's cleared the way. What's here? Is this just more empty cells? Um, uh, yes, but, um, one sec. I forgot to make a note of something, so I need to look something up. Sorry. Squeaks of Jack Santa being attacked. What the fuck is this? Okay. That's all I needed. No. Okay. Um. So yeah. Santa. So in the cell area to your right, um, you can peek around and see that uh, while it does split up off, um, but there are just two other cells. Um, the cell down. To like, if you're looking in to your left, um, that there one? is yes, that one. Um, the skeleton is clad is clad in a tattered black robe, um, which is different to the other skeletons. Most of the other skeletons just kind of have pe peasant clothes on it. Hmm. I'm going to make a little question mark here and keep going. Okay. Um, I'm not going to make you walk through. If Exploring yeah, the rest I'm of this area, um, it's all uh, all just more cells. 
and bones, okay. but nothing special. The, the only thing of interest right now that you can see um, is the the black cloaked uh, skeleton right there. Okay, I'm going to come back to this spot where I am and do a spider point that way. Does anyone want me to investigate this skeleton? He looks if fancy. You want. Was it just yeah. that he had a cloak when everyone else was What was that, Bringer? Yeah, he might be muted. I say, that's not the first skeleton you've seen, right? Do you give him a look? I will. Does the cell need to be opened, or are they. No, no, they're, they're all open. Okay. I know. I'm just gonna take a closer look. I'm still not touching anything, but. Wondering if. Uh, if maybe this is one of the people. You know, if, if we're dealing with a cult, let's say, was it one of their own who got thrown in here? Betrayal. Um, I, Versus. Would, I, I would say I'm not going to make you roll. Um, you remember seeing black cloaks like this in a closet earlier. Oh, right. Hmm. What do you think? Is were this you, one of their... Did you guys? search the body or are you just looking at it? I was just looking for okay. now and seeing. So does it look newer than the other skeleton? Uh, no. No, this, this probably happened, um a while ago it's just um the the black cloak is what stood out okay i will give him a brief pat down sure okay See uh you find a gold ring on one of its fingers Ooh. worth 25 oh. gold pieces but i am Gee. going to make you sell it so just put it in your inventory okay meaning it's, i can't wear it around <laughs> i mean you can wear it around if you want i'm just saying um there's reasons to go to shops in this story, so okay. I'm gonna try and push you to doing that. He's just gonna become Doctor Blank. Yeah. While they are checking that out, I'm going to back over to. I think you're muted. Okay. Nope. <laughs> you need to get like a soundboard with a big red like. Mute exactly. Button. Uh, while they are checking this out, I'm gonna go back to the big yucky X by the slope and okay. wait. Okay. All right because I'm going to get up and be right back. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else worth investigating in here uh, as far as cells. So I think, yeah, well, I'm going to return to the room up here. The, the Bone Museum. <laughs> I don't know. You guys left Buck behind. Yep, he died. If the sound seemed like it was coming from this direction, I'm gonna try to see if like there's any like false walls or anything like that in the cells area before I leave. Okay, which one are you checking? I'm gonna check the one starting with the one that had the cloak, the the rope guy. Okay. The black, the black cloaked man. Um. Roll perception. Uh, you do not find anything. Uh, do I hear like whether the sounds are anywhere more? The chanting is coming. Um, just in case you missed it, when Starts went into the the area with the slope, the chanting is clearly coming from that direction. So that would be the other wall. The like we, portcullis. Yeah, because when you went down that, the the chanting is coming from that that area where the portcullis is so if you're looking for where the chanting is coming from you're looking at the wrong wall gotcha DT gotcha. or I'm Buck the, I'm gonna head back towards the, the bone museum room as well no that, that's not I what mean, I meant checking the yeah. wall on this side doesn't gotcha. make any sense if the chanting's coming from this side gotcha gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna um, I'll do one more check uh, on the wall across the way then Okay. Uh, roll perception. In Ivy, I see you moving, but if you're talking, I don't hear you. Yeah. No, I'm not. Okay. God, your rolls. Uh, 
Uh, you don't find anything. Nice. <clears throat> All right, I'm going back to the bone museum. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try as well, just to see if I can see anything. Yeah, I think if Buck uh, suggested, wall. hey, let's check the walls for hidden stuff, let's say same we way. all gave it a try that we're there. Okay, but you gotta tell me which, what wall you're looking at. Um, I am gonna look at this one, the one that I'm pointing at right okay. in front of me. Okay, roll a perception. <laughs> it's just nine perception all day. Uh, um, but I got a bonus. Yeah. Uh, you do not find anything. Oh. Well, heck it. Well, I got an idea on how to get across this. Uh, I was going to check this one that I'm in front of. Okay. Was it perception? Yep. That one I'm good at. <laughs> well, oh, good. It was almost a four. Uh, you, <laughs> you do not find anything. I don't even need to wait for your uh, your bonus to that. Great. That is, a, that is a good bonus, everybody. but yeah. All right, Buck, what well, were you saying? He's a, he's a watcher, not a no um, of things. Is um, starts still in spider form? Yes. And I see the mechanism, the the rope, whatever thing, or would, can't can't she tell me about it? While I'm here at the port, port can I see how it would raise? She cannot talk to you because she I is can, a spider. I can gesture. That's about it. Yep. I'm going to do a, a drive. I think if there's a lever or something in there, I could give you the end of a rope, and you could take a rope in there. And... I, I would say... Why not you just drop out a spider form? Yeah, I can just pop out. I think okay. we would... One of us would ask, do you see a way to open the door? I'm going like, to I make I think a, that's a pretty believable question from one of us. Yeah. A steering yeah. wheel gesture. <laughs> we have to drive to get there? What? You don't know what uh, a steering wheel <laughs> is. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I've got... I'm gonna invent this. Cool I've got new cosmic gesture. extra planar. I, I, I don't think cars were in Eberron either, so if no. She makes a turning gesture with her like spider hands. I'm pretty sure Buck would assume that that was like a, a door opening mechanism. Yes. Or a I, wheel. I would also time. say, Buck, you could you could look around the corner enough to get catch a general idea of what it is. So you it is a. I'm gonna give her an end of my hempen rope. So, so think of it like um, the device you you use to um, raise and lower oh, the know. anchor in um, in uh, Sea of Thieves. Yeah. So I will give her a bit of my. I'm gonna tie. Um, spider rope. cannot carry the rope. She's a spider. She can't carry a rope. No, I'm just can't take a one. And how big is this spider? Tiny. It's, it's like a, a spider. Spider. It's, it's just a spider. Spider side. Yeah, she's I mean, not a giant spider or anything. But like, maybe tarantula size? Can you we're gonna say that we were here? able to see and understand her gestures, but yeah, nothing Yeah, that could carry a rope. she maybe just drop out a spider shape and That's... open the thing herself and let us through? Absolutely. What I'm planning to do. So Let's... I'm gonna go on the ceiling over to, I'm assuming, Persuasion the check. controller. <laughs> and I'm gonna like, oh, do you need one? Because uh, I got drop out of it. Uh, Wait, no, I don't. Never mind. Boop. There you go. Yes, there I just go. moved you. Yes. Yep. So I'm going to drop off the ceiling and transform and land on it so hopefully it flies open fast and whatever goes shitty from oh, there being a person in this room, that the is, door is open. That is. So you, you drop out, you land on it, nothing happens because you have to turn it. Well, I'm going to try and land on... Oh, it goes... No, it's a yeah, horizontal you, wheel. Oh, it's not yeah. bank vault. No, 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 okay. it's horizontal, so you have to push it. Ah, oh, okay. So I'm going to land and spin as fast as I can. Okay. Um, It opens. I assume you're all coming through? Yep. Yeah, we are. Okay. I'm in. Yeah, I'm sort of trepidatious. I'm, like, touching uh, the water with my toe. And just be like, oh, uh, water because I'm it, 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 That water would be very deep. All right, as you I'm come in, the, the chanting immediately stops. Well, great. Summon some uh, sort of blood drinker. <laughs> blood drinker uh, bullshit. Uh, I don't know if I have... Oh, wait, no, this is right. We all have sight. And Ivy's got the circle. I'm going to keep moving right down. So what's going on in this whole center point here? The... This thing? Yeah. Uh, it is, um, if you missed what I said, so it's, it's a dais, um, 
there's an altar on it. There's chains and dried blood. The chains, chains hang down. The Cha chains are from the ceiling. All right, I am not going to go close to that. I'm going to keep moving west around this room. And I'm doing a perimeter check around the other edge. Okay. Now okay. that I'm seeing it for the first time, I'm kind of taking it all in. I am going to. Hey, go did the anyone notice way. that 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 altar has pictures of clamoring ghouls and things rising from the depths? To use a phrase from my army days, I think we should get the fuck out of here. What's down here beyond the refuse pile? Down so here where like I am. Somebody broke a hole in the wall to throw trash into the room beyond. Yeah, it, it's a uh, just a pile of of garbage and body parts, and it's just not a great, not a great thing. And it's it sounds, got a solid really, wall. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a solid wall. Are there any loose rocks or anything anywhere nearby? Um, not from where you are. And I'm this going dump. So I'm gonna head up to the dead. I'm inspecting the trash. As, as soon as, a as Buck gets about where he is, I'm gonna hidden step. So I am invisible for the moment. <laughs> Turn and biz. Okay. Well, there she goes. Oh, closer to the altar. Okay. Everybody, stop for a second. Uh, <laughs> as as Buck um gets on top of the dais. Um, chanting rises once more as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Um, oh, one of them would be exactly where Ivy is. You uh, went invisible, right? Or No, I did. Starts. Or, starts. Is starts. Yeah. Okay. Um, but no. it's just there where Ivy is. It's not, or it's, it's so behind Ivy, Ivy like right stairs. here, but it's not really okay. doing anything. Um, uh, oh, each wait, one yeah. resembles a black robe figure holding a torch, but the torch's fire is black and seems to draw light into it. Like, uh, what is it? Infra black? Um, yeah. Where, black. where you'd yeah. expect to see faces are voids. You hear them chant, one must die, one must die, one must die, over and over. Hmm. Hello, friends. Uh, Buck, is your insider religion higher? I believe, um, I have a plus three to religion and a plus one to insight. Okay, give me a religion check. Yes. All right, with that roll... Um, with the uh, um, art that's on the um, the altar, coupled with what they're chanting, you can pretty much suss out that a uh, creature must um, be sacrificed on the altar. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Well, Damn, I what, is, wait, what does wait. must mean? Uh, wait. Can we ask? Do you think we to... have to sacrifice something? I think that's what they want from us. I don't think that's what we have to do. Fair enough. Uh, I I turn to one of the spirits and say, "Excuse me, what happens when one dies?" The uh, apparitions continue to chant, "One must die" over and over. Um. Worth a I, shot. I, I raise I raise a, a finger on the on the dais here and I go. If we can wait for a, an hour, I can summon a familiar and we could kill that. Oh, it'd be the first time. I object. You're poor familiar. I... You summoned into the world just to die. That's not yeah. right. He's familiar with it. You know I hate that joke. I hate to do this to Gerald, uh, but I will bring him out from my pocket. I have had Gerald, my, my pet mouse, for, well, he's old in mouse years. 
He's lived a good life, Karen. He's had a good mouse life. I do have a pet mouse, though, according to my other possessions. Oh, I don't, <laughs> don't sacrifice your pet mouse Chill. that we didn't know about until today. Until well, just now. You don't need to know everything about me. <laughs> no. And Gerald. Um, our business is our own. We could we could try holding it, it takes me an hour to summon my familiar. I can re-summon it and comes back again. He gets banished to his own plan and sometimes he's a little salty about it, but it's fine. It's a little little um little thing. So I could summon him now. It takes an hour and if they start encroaching on us and Less time than it takes for that. Maybe then Gerald could be sacrificed. While this is all going on, I'm going to wander over, still staying hidden stepped if I can, about to where Buck is. Can I move that way? Hidden steps one turn. Oh, it's one turn too. Uh, I'm going to start setting up dolls on the altar, the ones from uh, previously, from the. Whatchamacallit? The fireplace. Right. Okay. Just make a little line of them. And your mummy doll too. And the screaming that... one. <laughs> or the one you just got. With that. <laughs> the folded arms mummy. Uh... Just I just noticed the dripping water in the background. Couldn't hear it before. It was driving me insane. And then after they're set, uh, I am going to uh, create a bonfire and just burn them. And then gesture grandly. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the apparitions just continue saying one must die. Gonna oh. make a face. I'm gonna, step, I'm gonna step off the altar just to see whether they go away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hypothesis: One must die before we are allowed to leave, or they will just kill us. It is pretty threatening. So, Bringer, are you stepping off the altar? Um, no. There's uh, start this year. Uh, so, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my idea to, to basically start the incantations to uh, summon a familiar. Although we didn't really talk more about what my familiar is. So my familiar is a mechanical-ish being, so I don't know. That's what I wanted my familiar to be. Um, would be an artificer-specific thing, and not necessarily like a fae or an arch fiend or a fiend or whatever. So I don't necessarily know if it would qualify as alive. Uh, roll insight. Damn it. Hmm. Could have gone better. Yeah, you're not sure. Okay. Well, Please. I still think it's worth trying, so I'm going to spend some time on that while everybody else is doing <clears throat> things. Okay. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm sort of investigating these specters, like just kind of walking around or, or leaning around and, and looking at them and seeing if I can do anything to get them to, to react or if it's more of a um, pre-programmed response. Yeah, they, they continue to <clears throat> chant One Must Die over and over again. Um, the dolls are burning in the center. They're, they're burning out. Um, nothing's changed from that. Uh, starts in Ivy, are you doing anything during this hour that Buck is summoning his familiar? I'm just keeping that fire going. Are they just chanting the whole time? Yes, it's just oh nonstop. God. One must die. One must die. I'm going to try going back and, and leaving the room since they're not really doing anything to us. Okay. They're just kind of there. I'm going to go back to the... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm walking through the water. I'm going to go back to the roomy room. Uh, the portcullis is closed. Oh, we're fucking trapped in here? Or did it just close... <clears throat> Excuse me. Did it just close as soon as we stopped holding the wheel? Uh, 
it closed at some point while we were down on the other side of the room, I guess. Yes, it closed at some point while you were otherwise occupied. Okay. You can try and open it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and open the portico thing again. Okay. It 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 ri- rises. Okay. Um can I go through? Um you need someone to hold it open basically. Oh, gotcha. What if we dragged the skeleton in the black robe out from the chains and laid it on the altar? Like like you could hold it open um and rush through it, but it's going to shut behind you, I guess yeah. is a better way of putting no, it. No, I'm just thinking if somebody else holds it open, I can go drag that skeleton and, you know, they want one to die. Maybe they'll be satisfied with a dead one of them. Well, it's grim, but I can't imagine. I, I don't know anything else to try. So how about you hold it open? I'll go grab the body. All right. I'll start not, it open. Uh, yeah. Let's just say you do that. I'm not going to make okay, you yeah. walk over there. That'd be silly. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse me, Buck. Just gotta gotta try try something here. You know how it goes with arcane weirdness. Gotta try everything. And I just sort of dump this bag of robe full of bones at this point. Not Uh, really a coherent skeleton anymore. They they continue Uh, chanting, nothing changes. Bugs? Rats? Pointing down at the garbage heap. Gerald? Oh, Gerald. Yeah, I was I was curious okay, cuz I was Hold on. Everyone stop. DT leaves the dais. Oh, God damn. <laughs> no, move your character off the damn dais back down to here. All right. I was um, going, I guess I was headed back to the As DT leaves the dais, um the, the chanting stops and changes to the decayer. We awaken thee. Everybody <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, come on. The skeleton worked. <laughs> I'm tired of triggering things. Man, you do trigger a lot. Why well, we call was, him I, the triggerer? I was kind of idly moving my character around without declaring my intent, but whatever. Wait, what is it on this this one? What? No, Dr. Toilet. A one. Ass. This right. sucks. <laughs> you rolled a one. All right, yes. so I got yours. Six. Um. Bring, are you here? I rolled a 10 for my initiative. And Ivy? 14. All right. Um, so, we're going to begin combat. We're going to begin in combat music. Uh, Ivy, um, what you see is the pile of, um, oh god, stop. Uh, what you see is, um, a, the, the mound of, of bodies and refuse, um, starts moving. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, um. So how many feet is that for me? The, the squares are five it's, feet, it's right? The square is five. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm ten feet too far. I think I'm out of range for my crossbows. Okay. Uh, uh, the secondary range is thirty slash one feet. Yeah. You attack? No, I don't think so. Sorry, babe, I can't hear you if you're not next to me. I can either unmute you or you can ask me. What are we doing? I'm going right back. Don't worry about it. Okay, am I... For my range for my crossbow, if it says 30, does that mean I have 30 feet to 120 feet? So if it's 30 slash 120, the 120 would be at disadvantage. 30 is normal. So you could attack it, 
but you're going to be attacking with disadvantage, which means you have to roll twice and take the lower of the two. Okay, then I will move a little bit so that I'm in range. So I'll move 10 feet and then I'll fire. Okay. Is there a thing to fire at? Or is the, it's is it's the disturbance in the pile. I, the, the pile is moving. I'm just going to shoot at the pile. Okay. And sorry, I'm trying to find my stuff on um, my character sheet. Like, am I blind? Oh, here we go. Sorry, uh, crossbow. Am I doing something different? I guess I have to do the dice thing differently. Are you trying to roll from D&D Beyond or are you rolling from your character sheet in Foundry? Rolling from my character sheet, but I was able to click on it before. Yeah, you should be able to click the little um, die. Hey, can you give me a hand? So if, if you click, so the little icon, the like hidden person icon looks like a rogue that if you mouse over that that turns into a die if you click on it it'll roll like that oh wait wait i'm an idiot i just forgot how no worries oh sorry um, and then you click happening. attack yeah. in the chat window Sorry, guys. All good. That hits. And then roll for damage. Yes. And second go. I'm next up. That also hit? hits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buoy. Not seven. Ten points of pew pew pew, bitch. All right. Starts the fire's turn. Uh, I am going to cast entangle. Wow. First level. Yep. I have done this thing. Do you want to play some measured template? Okay, it's oh. a DC 13 strength save. So, yeah. Uh, let me see how I roll that. Saving it's throw. In the, in the chat window, there's a button that says save DC 13 strength. You can click it. Yeah, some of us are hiding our rolls, so... Oh, well. Uh, that is a save. Honesty is important. <laughs> Not for the DM. It saves against entangling. No! Yep, saved. Okay. Fuck. Joe. Are you muted? I was. Uh, is it or appear relatively unfazed? It appears relatively unfazed. All right, I'm gonna throw all the Is that, that the bottle you just found? The bottle that you found? Yep. Okay, I don't know enough about that. Uh, I got it right here. It is a sticky adhesive liquid which ignites when it's exposed to air. I can throw this flask up to 20 feet as one action. 
shatters upon impact. I make a ranged attack against a creature or weapon, or object rather, treating the alchemist's fire as an improvised weapon. On a hit, the target takes 1d4 damage at the start of each of its turns. The creature can end this damage by using its action to make a DC 10 dexterity check to extinguish the flames. Okay. Basically, I know even though it's you know sort of in the water here, I just want to ignite all of the stuff that's not underwater. So, okay. Um, I can throw it 20 feet, so that should be just about enough from where I am. You could hop up on my shoulders if you have to. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to use my crossbow. Uh, no, because I've got a. It's an improvised weapon, so you have to roll as improvised weapon. Um, I assume you don't have proficiency in improvised weapons. Uh, no. Can I just make an unarmed strike? I don't think I have any. Uh, I'm going to tell you what improvised, how it works. Sure. Grabbing it real quick. Um, okay. Do, do, do. So you roll without your proficiency bonus. So just to roll a tw- d20. Yep. And you uh, miss as the um, the alchemist fire bottle impacts in the water in front of it, and um, doesn't break or anything. It just lands in the water and um, bobs there for a little bit. Well, I hope I survive long to pick that up. I think it was expensive. All right. It is the mound's turn. Uh, the mound is going to come out. Um, it's and we're big. all very supportive. It's big, by the way. <laughs> um, and it is going to attack DT. Bring it on, Marjorie. With the slam. Double slam. Just a regular slam, I hope. That's a 22. Um, does that hit? Yes, it does. Look at that. Yes, it does hit, Pipe. That does hit. Dare you. Trash heat. Take 15 damage. Oh. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like too many for me to want to take. Um, thank you. Yeah, I'm at one hit point. <laughs> that um, was using my hit dice. I haven't used my healing, my last spell to heal. Um, it, it, it rolled high. It, it takes another slam attack. Well, yeah, I wouldn't. Oh god. That's a Shields 20. Up. Uh that ties. Uh, it does go to the die. Yep. Yeah. No. Even with my magic uh, with the plus ties, one. I think he's going to die. Yeah. And that's a 9. Yeah. You're unconscious though, right? That didn't kill you outright. Uh I have one hit point so now I have what negative 8 hit. Points. Yeah, as long as it's not negative 19 hit points you're you're just unconscious. Thanks. All right. Is it list negatives. Oh. No, just it'll just go to zero. All right. Well, I've been bludgeoned unconscious. Maybe we should have taken a longer rest. Damn. Okay. Uh, oh. it's DT's turn, which means you need to roll a death save. Which one is that? Where is it? Oh, death saves. There, I can just click it. My mouse keeps dying, like, right when I'm about to click important ones, it just stops working. <gasps> 11? Yeah, it's a save. <laughs> what is, it's a DC 10? It's, it's a 10, 10 to 20, so, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hooray, I'm not dead yet. Actually, I think 10 is a fail. I don't remember. I have to double check. Um, 
But anyway, you you survived. All right, Ivy, your turn. All right, uh, more crossbows, because that's what I got. Bows. Uh, that actually hits. Success. Second roll. That also hits. Thank God you're here. Yeah. All right. Starts the fire. Helps if I unmute. Um, quick on me, please. Um, do I have another entangle? Let me look. Go to load. Okay. Um, you know what? I am just gonna burn this. Okay, um, I'm gonna fireball this. Okay. That misses. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Big guy gets all the good die. Alright, back to Buck. If I die to a literal pile of trash, I suppose that would be poetic in its own way trash and human gonna, parts i'm gonna step yeah. up beside um uh dd here and try the shocking blast okay you know it's not my best cantrip and it over All right, you you reach out and touch this shambling mess of body parts and refuse as electricity comes out of your hand and hits it and nothing happens. Was it immune to awesomeness? <laughs> Was that your turn? Uh, sure looks like it. Well, I didn't roll hot anyways. Uh, it, it takes no damage. That That's what I was trying to... Yeah. 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 I know. I just, okay. I, I just wanted to roll to see how much damage I wasted. Did I do any damage? Uh, you missed. Like, or... With the fire? No, no. no wrong no, person. No, was... Oh. Uh, I, should I do the, an accent? Back in the crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> yes, do an accent. Uh, no, with the crossbow is working. <laughs> with the, uh, the crossbow, um, it reacted as you hit it. You, you, you think it... it it took damage from the crossbow, yes. So physical damage then? Magic Damn lightning, anything? nothing, but throwing more garbage on the pile. That <laughs> hurts it. You throw it fast. Quick, enough. smother yeah. it under other garbage. Uh, it is going to um, slam at Buck. Eat me, you son of a bitch. Bring it, I'm little. 23 hit? This fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, that actually does that. Somehow. I don't believe it. Alright. And... Sixteen damage. Whoa, that about one shot. Okay, I have one hit point. Alright, and it's going to slam you again. Yeah. I have really good AC, and well, so does DT. We've just been rolling. Oh Bring, damn! Bringer. Oh <laughs> I'm, damn! I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the one that must die. <laughs> yeah, does this end when one of us gets smushed? At least. Uh, that's twenty-seven damage. I think that yeah, brings you a, to that's dead, a dead. That's a dead, dead. Buck, as you um are slammed into the into the water. 
um, you you black out and feel your life just kind of drain away. You find yourself in a void. A device is in front of you. You recognize the device as the same one used to initiate the catastrophic self-destruct in your past. Somehow you know that initiating the self-destruct again here in this void will return you to the living. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to look, even though I know that, my, my curiosity is such that I'm going to look, like, look around a little bit beyond just the device directly in front of me. So, so where you are, you, you find yourself, um, you're not standing on anything. Um, you're, you're standing, but there's no ground. Um, everything around you is kind of absent there. It's, it's black, but it, it's more like, um, what you see when you're blind. So there's nothing, um, there's nothing there, but the device in front of you, which looks like it's setting on something but you don't see anything that it's setting on it's just I the was, device it's just you you can see I yourself and you can see the device but there is no light source as you pull the switch um the the device explodes just as it did before um but instead of you being thrown into a portal um which is what happened last time uh you stay behind as the void falls away and you see all of the people you just killed because of your self-destruct device. So Buck collapses um, into the water um, after being basically a slam down into the water. Um, and you all know that he, he, he's gone. He was turned into mush. Um, his body disappears. A, you see a, a large portal um, appear. Uh, DT, you recognize this portal. Well, no, you don't because you're unconscious. Yeah, no, unconscious. So never mind. Um, uh, Buck is... Fl you see Buck's body come flying through the portal and is um, slammed into the wall over here. He doesn't take any damage. Um, he stands up and he has full health. What? You little shit, how did you pull that off? Um, Husband can't hear me. Great expense. Husband. He's responding. Yeah. He can hear you. He said at great, ex at great expense. Oh, great expense. You killed a familiar, didn't you? Um, no. So make sure to put your health back up, Bringer. No. Damn. Um, okay, so Buck is back up. DT, give me a saving throw. If this one fucks up, it's not my fault. He was making one. <laughs> I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. That's what your waffle's costing you. I was blown on the dice. That was almost a one. That's a <laughs> fail, so. Thankfully, it's a two. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so that's Ach one fell, one success. Yeah, that's not Ach good. Ach so the way it works is if you get... Hold on, what's that? So the way death saves work is if you get three successes, you stand back up. If you get three fails, you die. Gotcha. A natural 20 is two successes, I believe. Or is it a straight okay. up? Uh, natural 20 is two successes. And a natural one two fails. Yep. So fight is a one and one. So he has a five percent chance of standing up and a five percent chance of dying dead. The next time he rolls his saves. Okay. Well I'm gonna uh go with ye old crossbows because kind of all I've got. So I'm good, something good, some good baby. That hits. Yeah. That will also hit. Mm. 
so 10 total. Okay. Starts the fire your turn. That's going to be a little bit more fire. How do I get it to switch? Oh. <laughs> All right. And then if this is gonna this is gonna be another firebolt. Okay. Oh, I lied. I think this is gonna be. No, not fart cloud. <laughs> I think. Isn't I it kind of already a fart cloud? I mean, kind of. Um. I think I'm going to try and entangle it again. Okay. Phew. That's strength save, right? Yeah. All right. Uh it is entangled. Woo! Alright, I am gonna try and fireball this thing. That misses. God damn it. This is shambling mound. How can I fucking miss a mound? Alright. Um, so I'm on a strength save again. Try and get out of this. Fails again. DT, give me a saving throw. Death saving throw. You can do it. Oh god, I rolled for a long time. <laughs> uh, that is a pass. A success. Yeah. So the character sheet actually keeps track of them, which is very nice. That's cool. All right, Ivy, your turn. Uh, she had to step away because the dog was acting like strange, so roll her attacks. She is going to do crossbow and then crossbow some more. Okay. That hits. Oh, she's got six. All right. That hits. Eight total. Starts the fire. Um, we're gonna firebolt my good friend the shambling mound. Can you click? That hits. Woo! Burn. The fire hits it. Um, it catches fire for a brief second, and then it goes out. It it does shudder from being hit, though. Hmm. Remain on. Oh, it's muted. It doesn't remain on fire, Correct. despite having flammable-looking shit in there. It's very wet. I think that's safe to say. All right, Buck. Yeah. Um... 
Where is the boundaries of the tangling? I think it just comes up from below. I don't think it's it's a it's a twenty foot square and and it's like twenty feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, since fire didn't really look like it did that much damage, and I have done have not had much luck with fire, I am once again going to get in close with it <clears throat> and try to hit it with a dagger. Actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. Um, it's only got DT. It's only got DT to attack, right? Uh, it cannot move from its spot right now. Yeah. I do. Um. Yeah. I don't know whether I want to try and run across and pull DT up combat further. Maybe get himself up next turn. And that would probably still provoke uh, an opportunity attack anyway. He will not get up next turn if he rolls a success. He will just no longer be in at risk of dying. Hey, okay. Yeah, someone's going to have to heal him for him to get up. up. <coughs> well, can I run over and shove a healing potion in him? You absolutely can do that. I'm going to do chug, that chug, here, chug. here and here. And oh, no, I would definitely like, have like a... That he would know this is where you put potions in if I'm unconscious. Yeah, basically like, here's like basically a little port um, where I can just like jam a healing potion and it drains into, um, into DT. So I'm going to do that. Okay. DT can butt chug a potion. It's one of his many racial abilities. Potion of healing is 2d4 plus 2. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. That's Everybody. all I need to not be making death saves, at least. Alright, you're no longer unconscious, and you have four total health points. Hit points. <sighs> All right, the mound I'm is going to really... attempt to get out of this again. Uh, God, if it gets out and hits me right now, I will shit. <laughs> I will shit. It <laughs> is free. Oh, yeah. But that's its turn. Wah, wah. My DT, turn. you're up. Make sure you fix your health. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but it was on the wrong sheet. Fix your health. Okay. This thing's all up in my grill, right? Yep. Okay. That's my shit. Why is all my Ivy stuff says, gone? move away from the garbage pile. Tell everyone to move to the four corners of the room and use ranged attacks. Uh, I appreciate that bit of tactics, for sure. I'm trying to see if I've got any magic that can assist me in getting the fuck out of here. Purify food and drink. Get out of here! I purify you. Fucking prepare spell. Shit. Not undead. Yeah. I'm trying to find the thing where I have the thing. Uh. So. Yeah, I think uh, so. Wait, it's free, which means it will it will do a disengage, right? Or it will attack me if I try to leave. Yes. Right? Yeah. Been one in turn soon. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to use my last uh, cure wounds on myself. Okay. Uh, I was looking for. Uh, whatever it's called, where you ignite your weapon, and it's a cleric thing, and it's not here in my actions. Uh, blessings of the forge. Uh, that might be the other channel divinity, the one not 
uh, it's like searing smite or something. I thought I got. Uh, not for not being forge. Don't think you have smite for forge That's domain. Weird. You're thinking of blessing of the forge. At the end of a long rest, you can view magic and do a weapon or armor. No, no, I've, I've got that. Yeah, it was something else that I saw on one inning. Okay, got nine PPs back. Uh, is is there anything I can do with my bonus action, like defensively? Uh, you can take a dodge as an action. Yeah, not yeah. as a bonus. Okay. Uh, you have no, Searing Smite, it's your bonus yeah. action. I just looked at that, so that was where I was trying to find it. So you, you could you could fire that off now if you wanted. Yeah, because it's the next time you hit, right? Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so I will heal myself and then ignite my, my mace. Just be like, that's it. You fucked with the wrong asshole now. Again, it's obvious that he's quoting somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Ivy, your turn. Say, Hi, Buck. Great. I'm glad you're not dead. I heard some weird shit happening while I was momentarily unconscious. But I'm not dead too, DP. I do. to make this more fuse. Oh, and she's going to move over to the corner of the room. Uh, well, no, she's going to stay within 30 feet, so she's going to move over the edge of the room here. I mean, you could fire both crossbows and then move away. Sure. I'll get the, I'll get the firing done, and then she'll move up. And okay. okay. One of the shots is a true miss. Both miss. Okay. Uh, Starts the fire. I believe I'm going to have to go confront this some bitch be not cast it, catching on fire appropriately. So uh, I'm gonna. Can I? That's what? That's 15 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. You. Um. So that's half my move distance. All right. I am going to shillelagh on my club and this thing. Um, there? Yeah. Shalali. Oh, and then it just uh, lets you attack. Using my wisdom. Oh! oh. So I trip and eat. <laughs> that was a 20 and it rolled back. It's like, garbage. So that is a fail. But you also, you see me, like, ignite my mace, and you come over, and your stick turns into a big club, and it's just like, yeah, fucking Power Ranger shit. We don't actually hit anything. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, crit fail, that's fun. That Alright, uh, back to Buck. When the, um, when the stick gets longer, you just kind of fumble it, because you're not used to the weight. Really. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oops. I am gonna basically... Uh, range... This is 120 feet. I am going to do exactly what I've used suggested and get back in the corner of the room here <clears throat> and then throw this fire. Oh no. Why do the dice hate us? Why do I the robo said, dice not let us have words? <laughs> the All right. Earth fucking rolls. Holy Christ. The. Mound is going to be a big old stink bottom. Attack starts the fire. Oh, oh that was a bad roll. All right, Stop. it's going to attack starts the fire again. Hey, you know what? The mound didn't actually smash. Oh no, wait. it did that time. Um. It is going to, instead of doing damage, um, grapple uh, starts the fire and start pulling her inside of it. Ew. No. You don't have anything to do yet, but um, on your turn, um, we will do a... Contested strength? Oh, no, it's actually on our turn. We, we both need to do a, a 
strength or I'm going to roll strength. You can roll eth um, uh, athletics or acrobatics. I'm rolling an athletics check. Um, let me look. Let me pull up my sheet. I'm looking at the thing in the window. Uh, we're gonna uh, go I don't with... think you're going to beat a nat 20. <laughs> we can try. Uh, go with, uh, we're going to do it acrobatics. That's exact robotic spells plus one. Yeah. Uh, you can't possibly beat it then if it's plus one. No. no. All right. So you are grappled. Fine. I mean, I suppose it's only fair. There's kind of a, an acknowledging shrug, like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> played the I, entangled I did that. game. You did. I mean, yeah. When you play a game of entanglement, you How win or you get attacked. How much matter is this shambling mound made out of? Uh, I know it. It none. Oh, it's it's it. mostly cor corpses and stuff. Damn it. Um. Joke. All right. Uh, DT. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it the old swinging mace. This is in here. Is it technically a beast? No. Damn it. Okay, so there's all of that, and then I can add the damage, I guess, after I do... I need to do a constitution save, is that right? Regular. Well, I have to see my hit first. Okay. So I am... So first it's swing the mace. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Yeah! Well, all right. shit. Back to Ivy. What else I can do? All right, Ivy. It's grappled. Um, it it has. It, it, it can pull people towards it. Yeah, like, yeah. The, the last thing it did is, um, uh, Starch ran at it with her chalet layout, uh, and missed pretty badly. And then it hit her, and instead of doing damage, it's grappled. So she's is she stuck next to it? It's pulling her into its ball. Yeah, that wouldn't use a fireball, but. I just sort of slid across the screen. Oh, um, really roll. How far can I move as an action? I think you have 30 feet. Can, does that count diagonally? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to move. So it is uh, start stuck. Yes. I'm going to move over to her and I'm going to switch over to my scimitar and I'm going to try and slice her free. Okay. I'm just going to drag my uh, scimitar thingy over. As a... scimitar. All right. So I'm moving over to here-ish? Uh, you cannot move there. You would have to move there. If you move there, there okay. you're pretty much in it. Okay, I don't want to be in it, so I'm going to do that. Okay. And I'm going to scimitar and hopefully drop her free. Alright, that hits. You, you slice one of the arms, um, not arms really, but one of the tendrils, Tendages. whatever, is pulling her in. Um, it doesn't free her, but um, on her turn, she will have advantage on escaping the grapple. Because it doesn't have as much of a hold on her. Sweet. That's fucking teamwork. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, I think so, yeah, unless I can do another move. Or can I still... Do you have a bonus? Can I, can I... I don't know. Can I run away? Uh, no, if you... If, I mean, you can, I but if you do, it's, already... he's going to attack a... Uh, take a opportunity attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you still I have five feet. feet. Oh, you did? Okay. 
Yeah. Alright, uh, starts the fire. Give me a... I think yours was acrobatics, right? Yeah. And um, you can roll with advantage. Advantage. And this isn't a contest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Uh, so you are are still grappled. But uh, your turn. Like... Oh wait, hang on. I can pass though, can't I? Nope. That's your entire ah, turn. Move. Yep. Uh, Buck. Uh, I'm gonna try fire pogo again. Uh, okay. It's just gonna be terrible luck, but. It pretty much killed me to death, so I'm gonna be a little bit more standoffish. A little gun shy, perhaps. That hits. Hooray, finally. And once again, the firebolt hits it, um, it shudders, and then the fire is immediately extinguished. Do you have anything else you can throw at it? All right. Starts the fire is pulled inside of the mound. Damn it. She is engulfed. I can't actually move you into the center, but um, you are you are now blinded what? and restrained. You are unable to breathe. Um, now. Roll a 1d4 for me. Oh. Okay, as you are pulled inside, um, you you are able to kind of see in inside of this this mound. Um, you you see a a. a infant crying in the center um you you Gross. kind of put two and two together that this is walter yeah psychic angry base um and you can see kind of tendrils extending from him so so if you think of it kind of like a kind of like He's a gonna be here. Um, and then there's there's bits of the mound itself connecting to him. Ew, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait for your turn. Okay. <laughs> Tetsuo. 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 God, wait, so it's like a cosmic rebirth? It's one of the lines from the original one. All right, DT. For some reason. And guy's looking at a screen, he just goes, it's like a cosmic rebirth. I'm like, what on your screen is telling you it's like a cosmic rebirth? Anime. All right, I've got this Seer and Mace going. I'm not going to waste it. It's time for a attack roll that succeeds, please. <laughs> Hung out on 18 for a while there. <laughs> danced for a minute and so just uh, call out and be like I'm sorry I'm still calibrating I don't deal well with unconsciousness I apologize for what comes next which is apparently me missing that's all I can do swing and a miss alright Ivy your turn since I'm right there still, um, I'm actually going to try to scimitar. I'm going to try and slice an opening so that uh, starts can get out. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. Time for a C-section. <laughs> oh, you don't actually know what's inside and also gross. Very gross. Well, it's enough that she's inside. Never. Still gross. <laughs> uh, 
that that action again gives her bonus on getting the hell out of this. I know it's, I, but I can't do anything big enough. I think that's all I get, right, on my turn. Yes, that's all you get because the bonus only happens when you're using the crossbows. Right. Uh, can you uh, give me a acrobatics again with advantage starts? Oh. Fault your way out All of that room, right. bitch! Uh, you weird. are able to pull yourself out, um... As you're... If, if, you can make an action if you want to as you're pulling yourself out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna thunder wave as I'm pulling myself out. Into the center? To, yeah, I'm just gonna try okay. and explode this fucking thing. Okay, are you <laughs> aiming it at Walter? <laughs> yes, I okay. just want everything gone. All right. I want a horrible, gross explosion. Okay. Just shrieking. <clears throat> so is that is she, she pointed in such a way that we don't have to worry about the cube? We don't get gleamed by that 15 foot damage cube? I mean, you're going to get hit with star. Yeah, you get gibbets. Yeah, er I mean, everybody's going to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> But oh. she, well, I mean, she does not want to be touched foot. by this, and See, everyone will die. I'm saying a 15 foot cube originating from it is that oh. if she is pointed into the center. That's true. Uh, it gave me that cursor to click, apparently. But yeah, cast it. So, well, it's, everybody has to take a saving throw. So, this is yep. the, the question Do we, or does it? Uh, it does, and you and Ivy both need to also. Because it, it's it's at center of the mound, yeah. and it's fifteen yeah. foot, so it would still hit you and Ivy. And just and, and starts needs to do it too. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, hang on. Does it hit me? Hang on. I think it's everybody. It's me. It says originating from you. Yep. And this is this is where the clickable. Thing oh yeah. So yeah, it doesn't went. hit you. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah. think all of us can click the button in there. In the chat window that says save DC 13 yep. con. Yep. That's super easy. Boss. Sorry. Uh, roll damage. Because everybody's damage taking damage. Oh, damn it, one. <laughs> I mean, it was touching me, to be fair. I argue that we are out of the cube. A cube originating. From where Please. she is, and she's in the center yeah, of the. Not... But it's not centered on where she is. It's a cube originating from you, outward, there's, away there's, from you. Yeah. A wave of thunderous force sweeps Perhaps out from you. Perhaps. Why would it hit us behind her? Okay, fair enough. All right. I'm just saying that. No, no. I, I. Because I don't want to die take again, that. But also, I didn't just save also you semantics. to sacrifice myself. That was that was some good rules lawyering. I'm not that well, nice. And it's where the clickable thing went, and I, it made me go back and read it because. Yeah, I, a I lot can, of shit I can, is centered on you for sure, right. but not this one. Yeah, this isn't centered. This is originating. That is fair. You're at least getting some good. And I yeah. argue sweeps out from you. It, it, in a and it's wave. called a thunder wave. So, yeah. let's just go with Pikachu rules and it, it comes Pika! out. It um, get emotional. So as as you do this, um, the Walter basically just evaporates and the mound collapses. As far as I'm concerned, that whole thing was hallucination. I'm just going to stand there covered in... As um, the mound collapses, the room you're in shakes. Mm. Time to get the fuck out. I see no reason to stay. That Somebody open the cool. door. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move to the edge. I'm gonna and get up door mechanism because I would get out of the wall. Yeah, so you guys can move. You are still in initiative for reasons. Um, but uh, actually, you know what? I'm not because this fucking thing is driving me crazy. There we go. Okay. Um, so you still have a turn order, but we'll go through it as needed. Um. Give me a second. I'm leaning back. I'm like, 
Miss the fire, are you alright? You seem to have been temporarily engulfed. Um, you the room is con bath. continuing to shake. Uh, okay. And, um... Yeah, uh, bits of Everyone mortar are falling down on you. It was statistically proven that the least safe place to be in a building when it collapses is underneath of it. Let's go. I, while I doubt your research, I can't argue with your conclusion. Go. Mickey, you've seen me collapse go. in many buildings. True, and, and I just start, like, spinning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the wheel while I'm bickering with the yeah, we're both we both have one side of the wheel. Like, yep, that's that's true. Spin it as hard as we can. I hope the gate is opening while we do. The, the gate is opening. It is peanut butter spider time, and back up on the ceiling. Uh, as you hop up on the ceiling, um, a piece of it collapses. You hit the ground, take one damage, and revert back to your normal <laughs> shape. Balls. <laughs> All right, I'm. I'm uh, yeah. The, the so we'll we'll just say you guys went through because I'll have to drag you through the portcullis. I assume you're going up the stairs. Oh wow, we can't yeah, move through the portcullis. I am. I am looking. There you go. Like a cow and cheese. Okay. So. I suggest fleeing. All right. Uh, at some point while we're going up there. Um, while we're going up the stairs, yeah, the thing that de Sorry. yeah, and keep telling me what you're doing too, like the order you're moving and stuff. Don't just move blindly. Okay. Just uh, once it was safe and we we're kind of uh, like sneaking up the stairs. I'm like, I'm sorry for this. It's like <laughs> combat analysis. This unit was temporarily deactivated due to multiple mound attacks. <laughs> Please rate combat effectiveness with your nearest service, service provider. provider. Oh. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> It happens when I go offline for too long. You don't actually have to rate me with your nearest service provider, though, of course, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Continue climbing up the stairs. Are we going back the same way we came? The shuddering has gotten more violent as you've gotten up here. And let's not try anything new. I'm leading the way, and we're getting the fuck out. Okay. If I so can remember moving... the way back. Yep. Tunnel, tunnel people still in their graves oh i think you're way ahead of us we just got to the I'll wait. I'll the wait. room with the picnic table buck went somewhere else yeah. he went back into the coffin <laughs> oh, no. i was scrolling around i was like where the fuck did buck go i'm waiting in this room oh. come on come on <laughs> tiny man was there another mound incident well, no start to the stairs to the stairs I believe you also took quite a mound pummeling back there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Filthy. ET <laughs> doesn't know. Look, he is low charisma because he's incredibly awkward and off putting, not because he's like particularly scary. Well, and people are like, what the fuck are you? He's from a different dimension. <laughs> but it's mainly his. His childlike sense of wonder. All right, you guys oh, run up the stairs, and you are now um, yeah. in this in the attic again. <sighs> the uh, is the house is shaking. Okay, I am right. oh. <laughs> going to run over to the the box where uh, nursemaid was. Put a hand on it. Pat, pat, and way. Sure. Yeah, do you want to check in on the kids? No. no. Uh, the I walls was... are, as you're running through, you guys notice the walls are becoming rotted. Oh, jeez. All right. So, yeah, we continue moving down the stairs. Okay. What did I say, Buck? It's not an explosion, but we're definitely <laughs> running away from a thing we caused. I think that's probably... Nine out of ten at this point. Okay, you know as you walk into this room, everyone give me a um, stop moving for a second, and everyone give me a. I'm at the, I'm, a, I'm basically in the stairwell still because 
You said oh. that, and I was like, Yeah, no, you, you're. Yeah. You you would still have to roll in there. Um, okay. uh, co Constitution saving throw. Oh, was it bad? Traditionally. Okay, no. you are all actually fine. Um, oh, oops, I didn't mean to lock that. Okay. Um, uh, move slower, but tell me what you guys are doing. Because you guys are moving too fast for me okay. to keep up. If, it's, if it feels like the house is collapsing, I think we're all making a steady progress. Yeah. As, so meeting. hold on just a second, Ivy. Um, as you come out, you notice that the windows in this room are bricked up now. Oh, um, as you approach this door, you notice that the door is gone, um, and there are just blades s slicing back and forth. Yeah. Oh, like a uh, Bowser trap? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If you want to get through, I need oh, you to roll a dex check, uh, an acrobatics check. Uh, can Could I grab furniture and jam it in there? Uh, you are welcome to try. I've got an acro um, advantage, so, or extra bits. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, crap, damn it. Okay. Um, so Ivy goes through, um, but does take. Where's my D10? Yeah, okay. Did you I take 14 to do damage. Like Why did I roll Wait. as DT? Um, I rolled as you for know. some reason, I but oh, just I this. But yeah, you take 14 damage, Ivy. Oh fuck, really? Yep. Fucking ass fuck. Sorry, you said 14. Fuck, I'm down to four. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to push this. Uh, like armoire, just shove it as hard as I can into the blades. Uh, give me a strength check. Okay. Going to the other one. Uh, ability test. The dice are like sliding for me. Like they don't. Uh, God damn it. Somehow you are not able to pick up this wooden thing. Alright, it's like. Gained it onto the floor. You know what? Screw that. It doesn't make any sense. You pick up the wooden thing. Well, and I'm just, I'm like putting yeah. my shoulder to it and right. like sliding yeah. it just across the floor into the blades. Yes. And um, then it, it jams up the blades and gives you all space to get by. Okay. Oh, I'm a dumbass. It's all right. This it may still bite us in the ass if this whole endeavor has been any experience. Okay, so we sneak through. Is there anything strange about this? The armor. The, uh, the one thing you notice is the armor is back up, um, but <laughs> is very tarnished. But it doesn't do anything as you walk by. Okay. Well, we would, yeah, we'd give it as wide a berth as we could. All right. Let me get the next room ready for you. Actually, I don't have to. You're actually all in the right spot for once. On the stairs. Oh boy. All right. Are... Everybody give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, okay, smoke starts billowing out of the fireplace. Um Do have a resistance to poison. Okay. Um. Uh, both um, starts and doctor take eight poison damage. I'm very low to the ground, so smoke won't get me. And I'm hearty. <laughs> yeah. If if you yeah. are okay. resistant, um, it's half damage. If it you're immune, it's zero damage. Um, is it poison? It's poison. I am I am resistant to poison. Yeah, so it'd be four. Okay. All right. Is my Constitution saving throw enough for me to not get it? Uh, is that Ivy? Ivy. Yeah. Wait. 
Yeah, you and Buck are Edmund. fine. Starts in DT or not. Barf. Well, I'm not fine. I'm almost dead, but get the fuck out of here. Okay. Are you continuing down the stairs? Yes. Yeah. Spider form pays off. <laughs> I assume okay, you're continuing down the stairs. Yeah, yeah we're trying yeah. to get away Can from the smoke. Somebody else go first. I uh, yeah. I try to get a lead now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Can't move through ball. Those statues. Fire can't go. Fire can't go through walls. It's not a ghost. It's it's not a ghost. Ghost can't go through doors. Okay, as you come down the stairs, everybody, give me another Constitution saving throw. As smoke is still billowing out of the fireplace. Why you do this, fire? Oh, fuck me, I'm getting weaker. Okay, my fucking bumblebee mask finally slams down over my face. It's just like... Complete... Okay, apparatus for this both Buck and Ivy take two poison damage. down to two hit points and I don't like it. If, if this house lets us out, I think we're almost there. So I'm going to, yeah. I know there was these double doors that then led to outside, I think. Or yeah. Yeah. Those giant the rats doors. or something in that other room. I don't know what's happening down there. Uh, no, that was the first room through the double doors. And then the, the foyer. I haven't heard Bean Troll say anything. Is there anything wrong with us proceeding as we are? As, as you are in this room, um, the door behind you shuts and locks. Um, the silver or the, the long sword that was on the wall starts rattling. Um, the door in front of you is locked. What do you do? Uh, give the door a solid kick. Just try to give me a strength check. Maybe even a, a mace attack. I don't know. Um, can I, I do, would let I you, you, you know what? I would let win. you at, if you want to attack the door with your mace and roll an attack on the door. Absolutely. I don't know which is better, actually, a strength check or an attack roll. All right. Simple melee. I would be frustrated at this point too, so I just get up there and I'm like, God damn it! Just smash. Oh, please don't make me miss the door pathetically. Okay. <laughs> uh, with the 18, the door um, cracks in the center and the house seems to roar, if not really roar. Um, the sound you hear, like a creaking house, an old house, but amplified by an ex like exponentially. Um, you feel like you could probably smash to the west of the way through the door um, with your shoulder. Okay. But uh, I do need a strength check. All right. And I'm I, going to start screaming back at it and go shit hammer on it with Shillelagh. I'm going to get distracted by the sword and try to pick it up. Uh, like, uh, oh. like basically grab this, like the rattling sword by the hilt. Okay. Real quick is I would smash it and follow up with this is a strength ability 12. Okay. DT, you smash through the door. Let me deal with the thing that Buck just did. Yeah. All right. So I, I turn oh, back and like, I got it open. Oh, shit. Don't touch that. As the, <laughs> the the sword, um, as you are grasping it, I need you to roll a strength check. I mean, it's literally a shiny. So... Fair enough. Well, I'm really, I'm I really would have. Ability check, use that or saving throw? Uh, straight up. Um, strength roll. Good thing I got a minus one on that. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Best roll all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are able to kind of control the sword. 
Um, the house kind of roars again. Um, you do know that... Pff, you know what? You, you currently have the sword in your hand. Let's just leave it at that. What's everybody doing? I'm, I'm getting I out don't. of the house. I'm I'm out. I like I am so no. low health. I'm, okay. I have to run away. <laughs> Buck, what are you doing? Like, you are currently holding onto the sword that is clearly somewhat moving. You did that, and it, it's trying to get out of your grasp. I am gonna try and like wedge it into a crack between boards. Yeah, I'm still in here watching this. So I, can I assist? Uh, yeah. Both of you, give me a strength check. Oh, I was gonna give him guidance. <laughs> gonna use the guidance <laughs> cantrip to be like, stick it in the wall. No, over that way. Uh, you can do that if you want. <laughs> no, can you use will, a guidance will... to smack him upside the head. Yeah, I'm gonna help by grabbing it and tutting a little bit. <laughs> this is another fun mess to get nice. into. Oh wow, nice. I am the strongest. No. <laughs> and then I only help because he used it. <laughs> Uh, with with that nat 20 you 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 successfully implant it into the wall um as are you, you're trying to shove it in the wall right basically i'm just trying to like stick it yeah basically like get the blade somewhere so that it's stick not it where the sun don't shine and then i'm gonna like book it to the door as soon as you i've like, got it in so fire as, as you pierce the, the wall of the the house um the house again shudders and 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 shrieks um, as blood starts pouring out of the wall, Evil Dead style. Oh no! I thought that was only happened on the second floor. The I'm is. going to start lighting campfires around <laughs> to try and incinerate the house from the outside. So just I, I am, I am light shit on fire. The fucking door, smashed up door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, um, not not slipping on blood or anything like that. Just, right. Yeah. You know. I'm escaping uh, into the void. It, as as you get out, um, the door behind you slams shut, and the house starts to collapse. I am gonna move more feet away from the house. Yeah, we just more sort of... incomprehensible screaming and fireball. It is not stopping. Just back up. And just opened a can of run away, and I am drinking the... that can. I am gonna get a little bit further away from the house, and I am gonna turn around and tamp my pipe, and kind of take a big, long puff on it while I watch the house collapse. I mean, hopefully collapse. I hope the house collapses. My God, fuck that house. <laughs> um, I had a healing potion, but I don't know where it is. I think it's in D and D Beyond, but not here. Um, before you do any of that, as as you walk out of the house and the house collapses behind you, um, it it is raining. Um, there's a storm. Um, a second. <laughs> It's, cold it's, and almost dead, covered in deep goo. It's it's rain. Um, and nope, that's not what I want. Back to the travel map. You guys are back outside. Um. As you are, are kind of collecting your thoughts and, and breathing heavy as you rushed out of that building, um, you see on the road, um, you know, about 15 feet away, because um, you're just you're just outside of the building that just collapsed. Um, you you see a, a black uh, state black coach basically um, with two black horses and a man. Um, Standing next to the carriage, clad in black and red with long black hair. He's clapping. It says, Well done, adventurers. Well done indeed. I would ask you to not set fires in my force in the future if you don't mind. It is very inconsiderate and dangerous. I'll be watching you with great interest. And he gets in the carriage and heads east down the road. Hold up my hand to the departing carriage, and it's still, I'm still like stuttering a little bit. Hi, my name is Doctor Toilet. I'd rather not explain why, but I, oh, I he's gone. I do I, have uh, a brief uh, audio. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that could have gone better. Although I don't really know what it was. His. I don't think I'm not that worried about the his. Of the 
for his, she just starts screaming over and over and over about his, whatever his. that's supposed to mean. Oh. His what? We burned down his house or his, 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 forest. his forest? He doesn't want us to start running his, not his forest. I he see. Our fire. I'm going to take my potion of healing because I'm almost dead. Okay. Um. Well, we can... I don't actually know. I don't actually know how to use that. Are we safe to camp somewhere? I don't know. Um, Lars is just going to turn around and keep blasting fireball at the house. Just the, mad and The wet in wreckage. Goop. Oh, I never got my... Do I... How do I use my potion of healing? Do I just click on it? I think so. Yep. You know how, um, babe? Well, you'd think you could just click on it, hey? So, like, when I click on something from my inventory like that, the amulet, it brings it up. Is there the thing where the, the little white face turns into a die next to it, or if you not have it in yeah. VPT. Oh, there it is. I, I do have it there, and I can... But, yeah. Oh, maybe well, I so need to drag it into my thing and use it there. Well, at this point, you can just roll 2d4 plus 2. It doesn't need to be assigned to the potion of healing, per se. Well, uh... Or 2d4 plus 2. So now I get seven more, so now I have nine out of twenty. Cool. Well, hopefully we're on our way to somewhere where we can safely rest. So uh, you aren't dead. <sighs> yeah, what was that? Like? Back from the dead to grab a haunted sword. How many more portals what are those portals do you have? Uh what all did Is you have? None, maybe you stop touching stuff. <laughs> Uh, what all did you pick up inside the house? I have um, a cloak of protection. I used my healing potion. I have 900 gold worth of jewelry. Um, and a yellow silver. A, silverware. And silverware. The, um, the silverware, uh, tarnishes. Oh, you also have a bullseye lantern. I had a mess yeah, kit that I was gonna make into shit. Um, I got I have my chainmail shirt. I, I all burned all the dolls that I picked up. So. Yep. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. So I think the only thing that was like a non sort of inventory or jewelry item that I took out of the house. Yeah. The the uh, the jewelry is also tarnished, um, but it, it's not going to reduce the the value. <laughs> Ba basically, okay? basically everything that you pulled out of there has aged a little bit, um, unless it was found uh, under the house. Yeah, I've got the the aspergillum, the iron. Yeah, anything found under the house is normal. Anything that um, came out of the house has aged. Okay. Wild. I, I kind of pointed that out. Much. This silverware was perfect before I, uh, what we got out of the house. Now it's pretty nasty looking. I kind of polished a little bit when I first pop on it and put it back in. Alright. Um, so we can Interest. call it I'm there. The, the mess kit. You guys could go down the road to the village. It's um, not as far as I said it was the first time because I had the hexes set up wrong. Um, it, it's, 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 it's early morning. Um, it's raining, so it's dark. Um, heavily overcast, but you could um, definitely make it. Uh, it's um, only about a mile away at this point. I think logistically, all in a year is not going to be a Okay. Uh, but I but if, if to the town before like doing a long camp or anything like that. Right, so what, I, what we could do, if you wanted, is I would let you go, if you want to get to the village, um, to start or to, to wrap up this one um, sure. Let's end there. Th then you can 
camp in the village if you need to. Uh, like, we don't need to do any encounters or anything in the village, um, but then that would be a good place to start off the next um, next thing. Yeah, and as, as for escaping the, uh, the house, um, you all leveled up to three, so that way you Whee! get a, you can do your long rest, take your spells, whatever you need to do. Cool. Does that work? Yeah, I think so. You can say we start yeah. with smart with all of that stuff in place with the level with the spells. Right. So, it. so we'll then we we walk the rest of the way into town like we camp on the the outskirts or whatever. Yeah. So so let's say you you get to the outskirts of the town. You don't actually enter, but you can camp on the 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 outside. It is daytime. Um, it's early morning, so I think that works. Does that work for everybody? Sure. Heck yeah. Okay. So we need to level. Rested and so as you move, low. you move um to the village, and ideally you'll be able to see what I'm loading. You can't I because I loaded yeah. the wrong thing. I Give me just second. a second. Let me pull you back over here. So for for um, D and D Beyond, is all we need to do to change our level, or do we need to do a short rest or long rest or something? Uh, you'll want to do both. Um, so I'm sorry, this is what I meant to give you. Okay, so you, as you approach, okay, why is nothing on my stupid computer working? Hold on. Okay. Uh. Your problem. There it goes. Jesus, that was weird. Um, as you approach the uh, the village of Bar of the village that you're going to, um, tall shapes loom out of the dense fog that surrounds everything. The muddy ground underfoot gives way to slick, wet cobblestones. The tall shapes become recognizable as village dwellings. The windows of each house stare out from pools of blackness. No sound cuts the silence except for the mournful sobbing that echoes through the streets from a distance. And. This is not the right button. <laughs> this is what you uh, you see as you approach the village. I have not seen anything um, different. I'm yeah, give it a second. You should be seeing an image. An image should pop up. Maybe. I don't know. Like, all of a sudden, everything went really slow on my computer. Oh, there it is. Ew. Oh, cozy. And um, we will wrap there with you guys camping out outside of the village. Try to get some rest of the skeleton mud. I think with those birds around, we could call it Rosie. God damn it. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Tip your waist strap. Yeah. <laughs> So as you go, as Buck goes to um, to fall asleep, um, he hears whispers in his ears, um, basically saying, "Kill her, kill her." Uh, you awake um, and open your eyes, and you are surrounded by ghosts. Um, these apparitions you recognize as um, some of the people who were in the room with you when you set off the self-destruct. Um, what do you do? Um, can I make out what's calling? Uh, is there the voice? The, the, vo the, the voices are, the whispers are coming directly from the, the apparitions around you. Okay, and do I see what they're referring to when they say kill her, kill her? They're referring to you. Okay. So like they're, they're, ca not, they're calling they're you a killer. Oh, killer, killer. Yeah, they weren't yeah. Like, sorry. I just wasn't sure if they were exhorting me to kill somebody. I was no, like, oh, no, they're yeah. basically saying, they're. how about this? They are whispering murderer. Uh, in that case, um, I look around, are there just... Um, uh, and I, there, and I there's go, probably a couple of dozen of them just surrounding you. And I go, that's the cost of science. They uh, do not look amused. Um, 
they stay with you and continue whispering in your ear the entire night. You do not basically get any of the advantages of a long rest. Oh, no. Um, however, oh. add to your character sheet that you are immune to illusions. Okay. Um, basically, you only are believing in the ghosts that you see. Um, and because of that, you cannot be affected by any illusory anything. Nice. But you do have to do a wisdom saving throw every single time you t take a long rest. Yeah, that's pretty great. Um, immune to blinded charm. It may not be in there, I don't know. I'm going to pick invisible right now, and I'm just going to enter a source note and say, actually, illusion. <laughs> yeah, so illusion, magic, illusory walls, anything like that, you cannot be affected by. That's pretty dope. So Except for the whole lot of sleeping thing. Yeah, so like if a, if a uh, doorway is hidden by a illusory wall or something, you literally just see the door. Nice. You don't have to roll or anything, you just have that sight. That's pretty dope. Not, but not you have this time. long rest problem. Yeah, the long yeah. rest problem, and that's not ideal for somebody that likes to take their rests and get their spells back. So I'm not to figure something out. That's a, that's a fun twist. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. All right, thanks, Dean. No problem. Have a good night, man. You too.